Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion 3-inch field flattener for our Eon 115mm, and then this is the 130mm. It's designed for both, and it flattens the field. So, what does that mean? When you're imaging with a refractor, no matter how well made, uh, there's an inherent defect or distortion in the edges of the field with a refractor. It's called uh, field curvature. The stars on the very edge uh, tend to blur out a little bit uh, compared to the center. And the way you fix that is by putting a couple of extra optical lenses in the path. Um, you don't really need it if you have a fairly, a fairly small CCD camera, but with today's DSLRs, especially some of the full format ones, um, they're looking very far off into the edge of the field and you start noticing that the, the quality starts to drop off out there. So uh, the field flattener is a very good thing to have if you're doing deep sky astro imaging with a, a fairly large uh, CCD or DSLR camera. It features a two element fully multicolored lens and some nice solid caps uh, to protect it when it's not in use. It's a 48 millimeter T-thread on the front. That's important to note. Um, it's the wide T. Let me show you here. So this is the 48 millimeter T. It's not the standard 42 millimeter T. What that does for you is give you a less vignetted field of view uh, when you're imaging with a large uh, camera. But it's important to note that you've got to order the wide T rings, the ones designed for 48 millimeters for, say, your Canon or Nikon camera. So 48 millimeter T there, and then a nice big uh, uh, two element lens, fully multicoated down on the front here. And it just simply threads onto the back of the focuser, attach your camera, and away you go. So let me attach it and show you what it looks like.